Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Let me show y'all Enrique Tario before we continue. This is Enrique Tario. If you're thinking you're so, hmm, he looked a little bit on the black side. That's because he is a little bit on the black side, okay? Hispanic and black, from what I understand. Enrique Tario, leader of a white supremacist group. And you got to understand the white supremacists, they've been doing this stuff for a better part of almost four centuries now. They know very well how to play the game. They know how to trick people into making them think that they're not white supremacists. So you can just guess what Enrique Tario is going to guess, get just by looking at him. But I digress. That's a different story for a different day. If one white man got 10 years and another white man got 17 years, I'm going to make a prediction here and now that this dude is going to get more than that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You heard it here first. He's getting he's getting his, his sentence handed down next week. I'm saying, I'm calling it right now, he's going to get more than 17 years. Okay, I'm, I, I don't know why I feel in my, my guts, I feel in my heart why this man will get more than 17 years, but I just, I just have a feeling that he's going to get more than 17 years. A few moments later. Enrique Tarrio, the former leader of the far-right Proud Boys, has been sentenced to 22 years in prison, the longest sentence handed down to anyone involved in the January 6th insurrection. In May, Tario and three other members of the Proud Boys were convicted of seditious conspiracy. On Tuesday, U.S. District Judge Timothy Kelly said Tario was, quote, the ultimate leader of that conspiracy. Tario received the stiffest sentence, even though he was not in Washington on the day of January 6th, since he'd been arrested in a separate case days earlier and was ordered to stay away from D.C. <laughs> Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her and she'll give you a million dollars for it, you'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump. <laughs> <laughs> 